asking about giving details on the pick lists that are available below any record type. And so this is something that is important to understand is when you're dealing with record types, let me go into, uh, let's go into the opportunity object. Let's look at record types here. And so we've got job opportunity and sales opportunity for uh, the two record types on the opportunity object. And so if you click on one of these, you get to the record type details page and this gives you the details on, you know, if it's active and the sales process it's associated with. And remember that opportunity record types have to be tied to a sales process. And um, that controls the stage designations on the opportunity as well. But as well for each record type, there's these pick lists that are available for editing. So you can show and hide pick list values by record type. And the way you get to that is you go to the record type and then you scroll down to this pick list available for editing. And so you can adjust these by record type. For example, lead source, it has all of them selected, but you can go in and remove a few of these based on record type. So for a job opportunity, for example, uh, you may not want public relations as an option for the lead source because it wouldn't make sense or partner or employee referral or that may be not the greatest example i'm going to keep employee referral actually and get rid of other and so then um, you can also specify a default so if you want to set a default value in a pick list based on record type you could do that as well so let's say that 98 percent of the time on a job opportunity your lead source is an advertisement Let's just go with that and click save. And so now if we were to go into, let me go into the job opportunity application. This is something that you'll build in uh, module three. And let's do a new job opportunity. And it defaults to job opportunity because that's the default record type for my profile. And we were looking at that earlier. So we'd have to change the default record type if we wanted to deactivate it. So I'm gonna click next. And so the lead source, hopefully it's on the page layout. So let me just fill in the data here. Go into details. So I don't have the lead source on the page layout as fate would have it. So let me just go in real quick. And I'm selecting edit page from the gear icon. And what I do, and there may be a quicker, better way of doing this. So feel free to throw in the chat window, um, you know, better way of doing this. But what I do is I click through the tab to the details and then I click in here. And then this updates to show me the page layout. And I can link to that to get to the page layout editor for this page layout. So even though we're in a lightning page, you've got to go into the page layout editor and it's very classic looking here. It's the same uh, page layout functionality as in classic. And so we were looking for lead source. And so it's not, uh, on the page layout. So I'm going to scroll down here and throw it right below probability and click save. All right, so now if I go, let me go to this tab, click back. Now I didn't make a change to the lightning page. I know that might be confusing. I made a change to the underlying, underlying page layout. And so now, I'm going to guess and predict that Lightning's not going to show the lead source even though I just changed it. And it did, so I didn't have to refresh. So it proved me wrong. So you'll see, sometimes I take my frustration out on uh, Lightning because I'll add something to the page layout and it won't be showing up and I've got to refresh, but that actually works. So we see that even though I did not enter any, anything for the lead source, it populated with advertisement for the default. And that's something that was done behind the scenes because I set the default pick list value by record type 
So that at four job opportunities, it just sets that for me automatically. Now, once I've created it, I could go in and edit and change the lead source if I wanted to, but that's the functionality of how to do that.